Now it's time for another Board Game Brawl preview with Nick Meenahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey folks, my name is Nick, this is Board Game Brawl, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. That game is called Full Throttle the Air Racing Game, and is from designer and self-publisher Nick Yonkowski. Now, if you like what you see throughout the rest of this preview video, I'm going to encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page. You're going to find a link up in the top corner of your screen, as well as underneath this video in the description section. Those links will take you to the official page. You can find out more information and hopefully consider backing the project. Now, Full Throttle is a competitive racing game where each player takes control of a different airplane that's trying to race around a course. You determine ahead of time how many laps there's going to be, what the structure of the course is going to be, and then you race and you try to uh, be the first one to go across the finish line after the set number of laps. But of course, there's more to it than that because this game is designed in order to be actually realistic as to how planes fly. You change your altitude, that increases or decreases your speed. You can go full throttle as the name of the game implies but there are risks involved with that and of course you can never quite count on there not being some random events that just throw a wrench into the works not quite literally speaking let me go ahead and give you a brief look at how the game is played with a prototype version of the game so what you see during the uh, the overview section here may not be what's in the final version just keep that in mind then we're going to come back i'll give you my final thoughts In Full Throttle, players take control of airplane racers who are trying to be the first to cross the finish line on a pre-established course. You and the other players will determine the number of laps you must traverse before you end the race. You will also determine the length of the course. Each hex on the board is considered a space of movement. There are clustered, outlined hexes that represent the boundaries of the course. Assemble the cardboard pylons and place them in the colored hexes you want to represent the boundaries. Each player gets a different color airplane, which you assemble and place on a stand. At the bottom of the stand is an altitude ring. You will adjust this during the course of the game as your plane reaches different altitudes, including during setup. If you ever reach zero altitude, you are considered crashed or landed and therefore out of the race. Each player also gets a D6 and a D10 in their color, a reference sheet, a pencil, and a full throttle gauge. We'll get to that later. Roll the D10 randomly to determine which player gets to place their airplane in a starting space first. The space will determine your starting altitude as well. Ties, as with many things in full throttle, can be broken by rolling the D6s. Each turn of the game follows several phases for the players. To start, each player rolls a die for initiative, with modifiers based on their current position. For example, first and second place get a plus two bonus. The player with the highest roll gets to move first, and so on. When it's your turn to move, you draw a movement card off the top of the deck. There are several important indicators on the movement cards. The large number, which is speed, tells you the base level of straightforward spaces you'll be allowed to move your plane. If you're going straight, you simply move that many hexes. However, you may choose to change your altitude in order to gain speed by diving or lose speed by climbing, but by climbing you're setting yourself up for further dives later on. The card will also indicate how many turns of your plane you can make per number of hexes that you move, or how many hexes you can slip, moving directly adjacent to either the right or left. When moving, you can never climb and dive in the same turn, and no two racers can occupy the same level of the same hex, or pass through a hex at the same level. Lastly for the movement cards is the random event indicator. Compare the unmodified result of the D10 initiative roll that you made with the indicated numbers on the bottom of the movement card. If there's a match, you must draw a random event card. Random events can alter altitude, movement, or throttle. Players may also initiate full throttle on their turn. They simply announce this and move up one notch on their full throttle gauge. By moving further on the gauge, you'll gain speed bonuses. However, you'll also gain modifiers to a special dice roll you'll have to make each turn, which can cause you to burn fuel at an accelerated rate and possibly start taking severe damage, including oil leaks, which will make you roll on the chart additional times. Once all players have taken their movement turn, they each mark off a fuel box on their reference sheets and then prepare for the next round, each player trying to be the first to cross the finish line after the preset number of laps. That is Full Throttle in a nutshell. On to my final thoughts. 
Well, there are quite a few racing games out there, although it seems to be a genre that has sort of faded away in the last few years, but is slowly coming back. So, but even though there are more and more racing games coming out nowadays, I think that Full Throttle is positioned to be a, a very interesting alternative to those because it's dealing with, uh, first off, more realistic subject matter. There's a lot of racing games that are just like really silly fantasy things, which might be your bag, but this one is for people who are really into actual uh, flying airplanes. And it's not just like, hey, here's some random things that we do and roll a die and move. You actually have to to move your plane according to like the laws of physics, how uh, flying a plane would work in real life. You change your altitude, you can dive, you can climb, then you can decide to go full throttle, but then of course that's going to put more strain on your engine, on the entire plane. So now you're spending more fuel, and you're already spending fuel as it is, so how much are you willing to risk? Uh, as well as you know, parts literally flying off of your machine, oil leaks, things like that, so you have to deal with that. And, and on the same time, you're not racing in a void. There are other players who are racing their planes right next to you, over you, below you, and you have to account for that. You can't... Uh the little, you can't fly into them, so you have to worry about where your altitude is in relationship to the other players, and then try to either turn past them or slip past them using the movement card that you draw to your advantage. So there is randomness as far as what movement card comes out, but really you have control over how you decide to move, how fast you decide to go with your full throttle, how you decide to turn or slip. These are all entirely up to you. Now there are random events that might come out, and sometimes they're beneficial, sometimes they're not, but uh, this is sort of an equal thing because they're potentially affecting all players if the die in the the initiative die matches up with the card and then it could give you a boost when you need it or uh, be a detriment to the player who is too far ahead of you just to sort of equal things out and all in all you know together with the the restrictions of the course and how many laps you have to do they really went out of their way to make the game simple enough to play it's, it's very easy to learn and very easy to get up and running uh and, and, and the game plays fast but at the same time it is structured to be more realistic than so many other racing games in every facet of it. So if you're someone that likes that idea, if you like the theme, if you like racing games in general, if you like uh, being technical with the game and actually giving you lots of options and choices to make, but still being very streamlined and not bogging you down with a six-hour game, then definitely you should check out Full Throttle the Air Racing Game. And it's on Kickstarter right now. You can follow the link in the top corner of your screen and also below this video in the description section, Go to the page, don't take my word for it, for it, excuse me, and hopefully consider backing the project. That is Full Throttle, the air racing game from designer and self-publisher Nick Yankowski. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.